Good morning, this is Paul and behind me is a 2022 72 registered Range Rover Autobiography P510E. Uh, I'd like to show you around. So this is the latest shape, the latest incarnation of the, um, uh, of the fabulous full-size Range Rover. Uh, the colour is Belgravia Green. It's got the autobiography specification, as you can see here. And then you've also got this Narvik Black sills. lower sections of the rear bumper and a nice contrasting black and the silver so I think that really does stand out sets the car apart makes it look really cool you've got these lovely diamond cut wheels wearing Pirelli Scorpion tyres UK supply car it's done 9,230 miles. You can see the panoramic roof there is open. But a really comfortable, really quiet, really smooth car. I think when you get to the, the full size Range Rover, in terms of comfort, luxury, and what have you, there's, uh, there's not a lot that will beat it. I would say easily as comfortable as the likes of a Bentley. So moving towards the, the back of the car, you just press the button and open the boot. And you can see there's a lifting door and then there's a separate door. And that will drop down as well. The box isn't there just because it's a box, it's because we have the public charging cable. And this car also has, you can drop the rear seats electrically, um, you can lower the suspension to make it easier to put things in and out of the car or you can press that button and it gives you the electrically deployable tow, tow bar. So nice to see that the car has a nice rubber mat, which is protecting the really nice carpets underneath. And the whole of the interior of the boot here is very, very nice condition. So you can see it's not been used as a load lugger in any way and you press the button and that shuts down as well so moving to the inside you can see this is, has the the ebony trim and the darker wood which looks really nice i think it ties in very nicely your electric seat options are here you can see the mirrors are electric folding and heated and there's a button here which also lowers the suspension if you have someone who has difficulty getting in and out of a high car not that it's that high but it just means you have a little bit more access to getting in the seats are ebony you've got these lovely winged headrests so they're very very comfortable very safe ultimately and these perforations in the seat are there because there are actually fans in the seats so if it's a really hot day, which it isn't today, but it's quite sunny, then you can have cooled seats as well as heated seats, and that's rather nice. Can we close the door? So you can see here, it gives you a percentage of the electric. So obviously we'll put the, put the car on charge. Uh, but it'll give you a range for both the petrol engine and the electric. It has a three litre six cylinder petrol engine. Then you can see this really nice, easy to use display, which has haptic buttons. So you can feel and hear when you're pressing buttons. Very, very clear screen. Everything works really, really nicely and easily. And then if I just press, put my foot on the brake and press the start button, everything leaps into life. At the moment we're looking at the, the standard conventional screen. So if I just press this button here, it'll clear and I press it again, I can then go into display layout because this is a digital dash. Press it again and I can flick through and have app options such as map. Display layout again. I can go focused, which gives you split screen split in three different ways and you can choose what you have on this side on this side and then 
display layout again and back to where you had it. Now there's quite a few different options with this with this screen. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them right now because I haven't want to spend that much amount of time. But those are three of the nice ones, that, so you can really see a different view depending on what your driving style is and what you like. If you look forward as well, I don't know if you can see that, but it's flashing here, but it's not flashing to me, but it's flashing on the camera. You can see the head-up display, which gives you your miles per hour, um, and it tells you what gear you're in. So again, that helps you to take have have the readings without taking your eyes off the road. Now, if I come down to here and pop it into reverse, you can see you've got a very nice, clear reversing camera, very good view out of the back, and then you've also got this 360 degree um, view, which is very good if you're parking late at night in the dark or it's raining and you can't see very well out of the side mirrors. So that works really, really well. Press P so that the car doesn't disappear backwards or forwards. Um, as we go down here, you can see we have a wireless charging dock or wireless charging shelf down here if your phone supports it and then we've also got a USB there's cup holders in here and then we've got the cubby box in here and two glove boxes one at the top and one at the bottom the headlining is light to make it feel nice and light and airy and I've got the panoramic sunroof open and you can see it's a nice light airy airy place to be very comfortable very nice place to be um, heated steering wheel adaptive cruise control so it's radar assisted lane assist and then this drives your screen and your and your music down here we've got your your air conditioning which is adjustable for either side in fact it's, it's four zone because you've got it in the back as well now it says here push and pull so I'm going to push and then that turns into the seats so I can have them roll it to the right and it goes red so it's warming the heat seat has come on roll it to the left and then the cooling happens and then you've got the fans engaging which help to keep you nice and cool and then that flicks straight back to your climate control again nice and simple turn that off actually I can turn that on because I'll show you something in the back as well So moving to the back of the car, you can see more of this lovely wood and leather, more speakers, and you can see here also that you've got the, the blind, which that one over there is actually down, this one's closing. So as well as keeping, uh, as well as being privacy glass, so so you can't see into the car. If you've got children or pets or what have you in the car, then it also helps to keep it nice and cool. Um, to have privacy glass and then the um, and the additional blinds as well. So moving on to here, now this is we've got at the moment we're in four seat mode, so we've got the armrest down. If I press that and swipe to open, I can then press that button and that will pop up but you can adjust your air conditioning and your seats and everything from that LED display because it is a touch screen much like the one you have in the front and then you've got three proper seat belts albeit the, the middle one is never going to be quite as comfortable as the out, outer ones and then down here you can see you have the same scenario here as you do at the front so push and pull to have your heated and cooled rear seats and you've got plenty of legroom, as you can see. Very nice. So I hope you like the car. I hope you like the video and find the video useful. If you'd like to know more about the car, please visit our website, www.bramshawbv.com. Either pop us an email or a text or a WhatsApp or give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about it. Thanks for watching.